I never saw such a revelation before. We went to bed around half past four. This was my estimation because I rose up at 5 a.m., and I estimated the length of the revelation in an average of 30 minutes. And it already dawned on that day of Friday, the 4th of January 2019. In this end times vision, I saw myself with my wife in a dream, and in this dream, my wife was with me in front of a gallery and we were there standing in front. Suddenly my wife says to me, Dear, I feel very light, like someone who no longer has weight like a sheet of paper. Jesus, what is this? I said to my wife, Darling, this is strange and curious for this is precisely how I'm feeling too. I feel really light. I feel like a sheet of paper. And while we were both in wonder and amazement, brother, in the blink of an eye, we started rising above the ground. I felt like an inflated balloon. We then rose in space at an altitude of 2 meters and 50 centimeters, and we were suspended 2 meters above the surface. One minute was a lot. After a few seconds, I realized that all around us there were thousands of people who surrounded us. We all found ourselves 2 meters and 50 centimeters above the ground. We could not understand what was going on. We stood above the ground as the rapture was happening all over the world. Then suddenly there was a boom, like a powerful detonation. I realized that this detonation broke all the glasses. I mean, all the mirrors, windows and everything that make reflection were broken. This detonation caused two things. Firstly, the countless saints that were suspended 2 meters 50 centimeters above the ground were separated from each other. The majority were left behind in that altitude of 2 meters above the ground. As we were standing above the ground, immediately, we felt a force above us. And when we looked up, it was in the form of a whirlwind. But it was not a whirlwind but in the shape of a whirlwind. There was a force that it was oscillating, moving or swinging back and forth in a regular rhythm. Suddenly, we were sucked up by this force. I saw that only a minority of us that were sucked up toward the height, and we started to rise in a cruising speed. And I can afford to say that the cruising speed is not the appropriate word for it was a staggering speed for we were sucked up with a tremendous push like a rocket. We were launched towards the great height. We were going up towards the force that was pulling us up towards heaven. And while we were going up, I realized that the thousands of people who were with me when we were at the attitude of 2 meters 50 centimeters, only 20 of us were cruising and climbing the pillars of heaven. The rest of the saints remained below us. While we went up in the middle of the saints, I saw an angel who was there, but we were not aware of his presence. We did not realize he was with us. Beloved, at this great speed, as we were rising, this bright angel rushed towards me. He held me in the right hand. While we were rising, I looked up above the sky, and I saw my wife going up with tremendous speed. I do not have the necessary vocabulary to describe this. It was an incredible scene, something never seen before and it was breathtaking. This bright angel who was dressed in brightening white outfit held my right hand, and he pulled me aside and he said, Fear not. I hope you know me. My name is Faithful. You saw me several times in your church. Brother and sister. You know my story when I talk to you how I saw this angel of my church in the name of Faithful. This is the angel that is the guardian of my church. After introducing himself to me, he told me, I will take you to see the continuation of these events. You heard about the rapture of the church. It is happening now. Brother, this vision was so clear and vivid. The way I saw this vision, it was so clear that I could not imagine that today. I could still be on earth. In any case, I have been waiting for more. This angel spoke and said to me, I told you once in 2007, that I work in the local church. My task is to assist the church. When the church started on the earth on the day of Pentecost, we came down to the earth and we remained on the earth for we are the guardians of the churches. It is written in Revelation 1:20, the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which you saw are the seven churches. The angel said to me, 
we are the angels sent to the churches of the earth, as guardians. When Jacob saw angels going up and coming down on the staircase, it was us, for we work on the earth. You must understand that today, it is the fulfillment of the word of the Lord. And it is the duty of the angels of the churches to assemble all the faithful of churches around their shepherds and pastors so that their shepherds will lead them to felicity when the trumpet will sound. Brother, it was for me a great joy to learn that I am one of the shepherds that is leading his members to bliss. I was leading saints who believed in my vocation and my messianic message towards the blissfulness of the Lord. The angel said, All this is the fulfillment of the writing on the biblical passage in the book of Matthew 24 colon 30 31 And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 31 And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. The angel told me, Moses, people often call you, shepherd. I will explain to you the role of this word. I will explain to you why you are a shepherd. It's actually a name that is being fulfilled today. You are worthy of being nicknamed shepherd. And the scripture is fulfilled today, but I have gathered all your members and the faithful of your church so that you guide them to your father who is our master and our God. My task is to accompany you for we are companions who are supposed to lead the local church of the Lord towards bliss and felicity. Since we are companions, our mission is essentially to prepare the bride of the Lord for the rapture. The rapture has happened, but may have been left behind. Brother, this angel told me, the purpose of the angelic guardians of the church sent to the local churches since the day the church began, was to regroup the faithful when the trumpet will sound on the day of rapture. The angel told me, when the trumpet has sounded, immediately I have to regroup those who are part of your ministries. Countless of multitudes that you saw around you when the trumpet sounded are indeed the faithful that the Most High has given you, so that they would be under your leadership, but they fail to rise with you. The first group which is going up is your group and the second group is those who have failed to rise in the height. These are countless people that you saw gathered around you in white garments. They have managed to rise above the ground in an altitude of 2 meter and 50 centimeters, but they could not go further. Those who failed to climb to heaven have stayed for three reasons. The first reason is that they were in the church but they were not fully integrated into the vision that was communicated to you to prepare the Lord's bride. They thought it was a joke, and they thought it was so simple. Secondly, these people were in the church but they did not consecrate themselves totally. They fail to live in a total alliance with the Lord. He continues to speak and he said, The third category of the faithful who came to the church despite everything they did not seize the opportunity to develop their spirituality. Since the rapture is done in spirit, the believer who is a weak spirituality could not be sucked up. While he was explaining to me I saw the faithful who missed the rapture. In the process of losing the altitude, they found themselves on the ground because they landed on the ground. The angel told me, everyone is surprised why the windows, the glasses, and the mirrors are broken. I will give you the details. But until then the angel of the Lord has not given me details. I pray to the Lord that he sent his angel again so that he will reveal to me why the breaking of the mirrors and windows happened during the rapture. I think there is a hidden mystery that I am still ignorant of but I am waiting for the revelation. Brother while we were mounting towards heaven, I saw countless faithful that were left behind ascending to the ground. Quickly the angel said, Behold, now see what happens next. When I looked I saw that these countless souls were losing their altitude for they descended to the ground. And when these saints landed on the ground, instantly the planet earth became totally ugly unattractive and lifeless. When the church and the spirit of God left the earth, everything looked aged. I saw everything changing on planet earth. At that moment, as we were rising towards the space, the sun started to blacken. And I mean, there was immediate extinction of the sun. The sun was set off and it was dark, but there was still a small light that allowed people to see a little light shine like in the evening. From my observation, 
I can afford to say that after the rapture of the church, all the mirrors will break automatically. And immediately after the rapture of the church, the sun's rays will go out and there will be darkness. Afterward, the earth will start aging for life will be gone from this planet. I saw an incredible change in our planet that was drained from life when the rapture happened. The world of men deteriorated and in the right vocabulary, I would say that the earth was discolored and deprived of color and life. It was like a twilight zone. When the trumpet sounded, I saw that there were filth everywhere. I did not understand why. The second observation was sexual depravity and immorality. When the trumpet sounded, I saw people that were left behind going deeper into things to which they were addicted to. People who were stunned by the disappearing of millions returned deeply to their addictions. Many were having multiple illicit and extramarital sexual partners. I saw immoral men hanging with many more women. As we were hovering I saw restaurants, terraces of the bars and hotels were crowded with people that have entered deeply in their vices brother, this event was horrible. For the thousands of people who were suspended there above the earth, who were supposed to be saved through my ministry, so that I will take them to the bliss, I saw just twenty who managed to rise with me, and I was so emotional to realize that the rapture had taken place and only about twenty faithful of my church rose on that day. I saw Christians and members of my ministry who missed the rapture. They were crying. As they were crying I had pity. I also started to cry with these people though they couldn't see me. We were flying over different places and I was crying. I realized that this planet that we thought was in full innovation and rebirth, it was not the case. There was filth everywhere. People were deeply in their addictions. Then I saw the pagans and the people of the world questioning the Christians who had missed the rapture about what happened. And these people who were left behind told them, we were lifted a few meters and suddenly there was a boom, and we realized that some of us disappeared. But we descended. We did not understand. Our shepherd and some of our members disappeared. We are sure that this is the rapture of the churches foretold by the prophets in the scriptures. These Christians threw themselves on the ground and they tore their clothes off. They started to cry and saying, Lord, let this be a dream, Lord, forgive us. But let this be a dream, not reality. I was flying over. And I said to myself, Brethren, this is not a dream. You have already missed it. It is too late for you. I could not communicate with them and they did not see me. I saw these souls that were my members praying and saying, Lord, please remember us. All of them were on their knees in front of the gallery where we were before rising two meters. Brother, what touched me and stunned me so much in this vision is when the angel of the Lord informed me that these saints were people that were supposed to rise to heaven, thanks to my ministry. I understood that the faithful of local churches will go to heaven with their shepherd leading them with the angel of their local church. On that day when the trumpet will resume, the shepherd will be like Joshua, leading the children of Israel towards the promised land which is Canaan. The angel told me, the countless that you saw around you, even if they are two camps, they are the totality of souls you taught in your ministry. These are souls from the local church and souls from around the world that follows your teaching. When the angel spoke of this way, immediately I thought of my children in the faith that had abandoned me. I wonder what will be their fate? The angel understood my thought, but he did not answer me directly. He answered me indirectly, for he said, when rapture happened, all your faithful from the four corners of the earth will be gathered around you despite the distance. They were supposed to rise at the sound of the trumpet, thanks to your teaching and ministry. Brother, I realize that indeed we have a strong audience in the world that follows us. And I take this opportunity to sincerely thank you, my family, that are watching our videos on YouTube. The angel spoke and said, look at the number of those who missed the rapture and the number of those who are going up. This is a wake-up call to all pastors who do not talk about the rapture of the church to the people to whom they have been mandated. They will find themselves alone because they have not prepared their church. And here is their faith that they will suffer for they have no time to prepare the children of the Lord. When the angel said this, I saw those who could not rise although they were two meters fifty centimeters above the ground. I saw that they were losing their altitude every second. 
And the angel said to me, These countless Christians that have been following your ministry have missed the rapture. They rose above the ground but they couldn't rise further. I have not yet shown you the barriers. Brother, I was observing firsthand the Christians who were left behind. I was really heartbroken to see that they were faithful that were supposed to be raptured thanks to my prophetic teaching. I said in my heart, what is it that I did not do? 